Today we have a 2022 Tesla Model Y and we're taking a look at an accessory that really complements the car and that's the Kuat Piston Pro X. If you're looking for the most premium bike rack in the whole entire world of bike racks, you found it. So this one's gonna really bring all those features over to the top. When it comes to just the basic features, we're gonna have the tilt away. So on our Tesla Model Y, we can still access our back, which it has a massive door. So I'm surprised that it's actually gonna work with this, but it does. We have no contact. We don't even get close to the handlebars. And that's usually the problem issue. So you're not really limiting your Tesla by having the Piston Pro X on it. You're enabling it to carry two bikes. As far as the limitations go with the specs on what kind of bikes you can put on here, we have a lot of range. So anything up to 67 pounds we can throw on here. It's gonna be great for your electric bikes without those batteries. And then when it comes to the width of your tires, that's gonna go all the way up to five inches, which is gonna be for your fat tire bikes. And also for your downhill bikes that are really, really long in wheelbase, up to 53 inches is what the Piston Pro X is going to be able to use. So that's something to kind of think about. Those are kind of the bare bones features that you really get with most bike racks. It's gonna come with a cable lock, which is plenty long. It'll wrap around all your bikes and stuff and has a piece right here that it connects to the rack. You have two keys that come with your kit and that's gonna do this to unlock the cable. So even if you do end up adding onto this, which you have that option with us, you can either add one bike or two bikes onto it to make it a two or, th or a three or a four bike rack. The cable is gonna be long enough to be able to use all of those. What I really like about this is, if you guys come a little bit closer, I don't have to really have <clears throat> access to my keys to lock this up. All you have to do is just go and press it in and it's locked into place. So you only need the keys whenever you're unlocking it which is kind of cool. But all that stuff's great. A lot of these other bike racks on our site have that, but let's just take a look at to why this is such a premium rack. My favorite part down here, the Piston Pro X gets its name because it does have some pneumatic pistons, which is going to hold your bike in place, but they went the extra mile and they have the inside coated with Kashima coating, which is fancy. If you are in the biking world, this is gonna be an absolute flex to all your buddies that are also hauling around their bikes. The way it works is you just need a hand and you just press this little lever right here and it's going to open it up for you. And then as you start to tighten down, you can do that. It's also very easy to adjust for the different size wheels that you have. So right now we have it set on the 29. And if you notice on the outside over here, it's super, super easy. All you need to do is just clamp these two together and adjust it. There's a couple other ones on our site that will be able to adjust like this, but it's not near as easy. You either need a tool or you have to take the separate piece out and put it back in. This is the easiest way to do so. So when it comes to the ease of use, I'd say that the Piston Pro X definitely wins with that as well. Another thing that they have on the Piston Pro X that's different than all the other ones on our site it has built-in LEDs. So sometimes you have to grab an LED kit and install it separately. This one comes with them pre-installed and they're pretty slick looking. Right now, we don't really have the, the ability to light it up, but all you need is a four pole to light them up. Cause you notice how the bike rack is a little wide. It might end up covering your taillights. We want to stay safe on the road. We don't want anybody to hit this since it looks so pretty and the lights are really cool. It'll show when you're braking, the running lights will be on at night and also with your blinkers as well. I think that's really cool. One other thing that you could do with these keys is right here. This is gonna be the tool that you're gonna to need to be able to take the bike rack off. We will do this soon, but I just wanted to show you this because it's really satisfying. This is the tool. You don't have to have anything else but this and it has a magnet on it, so it stays in there even when it's unlocked. I just think that's cool. It's just a very satisfying touch. So let's go ahead and take this bike off the rack. It's not gonna take too much time. You just take your key, we can unlock it. It is somewhat difficult to get that in there since the cable's so close to the locking core, but it's not horrible. 
The only bad thing I would have to say, it's not really bad, it's just a preference for me. I don't like when the cable is just sloppy like this and it's not integrated with the rack. If you're watching a bunch of our videos, you can see the Kuat NV 2.0 has a spot for the cable, so you don't have to worry about doing this and try not to hit your vehicle while you're taking this off. So we will have to find a spot for this, but since we can access the back of our Tesla, it's probably where I would put it. So we can toss that to the side. So once that's done, all you have to do is just put a hand on your bike and we're gonna press that same exact lever down here. But notice sometimes, even when I do press it down, it doesn't come off the tire. So you might have to help it out a little bit. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And if we have enough room to take the bike straight off, but with this long bike, we really don't. We have 29 inch tires and it's about 52 inches in wheelbase. What you can do is you just take this and it'll bend back like that. This is not really something you wanna keep while you're out riding, especially if you're in a parking lot, because it is gonna be wider than the car is wide. So someone might hit it, but that's pretty easy and quick to unlock your bike and just take it off the rack. Now you can kind of see a little bit more what we want to do here, once we're done, we could take the arms here, go like this, and we want to be hearing that clicking motion. So if you have these down like this and the lever is down, you're not going to hear the clicks, which means that this is going to come right back up. So hear those clicks and push it all the way down. Simple as that. So with anything that you put in your hitch, obviously we're going to add a little bit of length. So let's get an idea of how much length we're working with here. So from the bumper to the farthest most point, I'd say it's 24 and a half inches. And at that point, we have a little bit of tiered style here, meaning this tray and this tray are a little bit different when it comes to height. So that's going to help with your handlebars and stuff. So we do have a little bit of ground clearance. It's a decent amount. At the farthest point, it's about 21 inches from the ground to the bottom on your Tesla Y. Moving on, we can fold this up, which is a feature you see with a lot of bike racks, but it's nice to have because this thing looks so pretty. We are gonna want to show it off even when we're not using it. There's not really a whole lot of room. I'm thinking like an inch at most in between our vehicle and our arms right here, but it's very rigid. So even if I really push on it, I really don't think we're gonna have any contact. But whenever we're backing up, you're also gonna have a little bit of vision being blocked by the bike rack, but that's with any type of hitch mounted bike rack. But this is gonna bring down our length quite a bit actually. It's under a foot, 11 inches is what we're adding on. So I would be totally safe to say this is gonna fit in your garage and even just a parking garage if you have your bike with you and you just like to keep it on there. If you're buying a premium rack like this, might as well show it off. It's gonna be a flex. People are going to look at it and they're gonna ask some questions. So is that something that you want? I think the Piston Pro X is gonna be a great solution for you. Um, as far as taking the rack off, we're gonna show you how to do that. We can take those same keys and we're gonna go back to that tool that I like to take out and put in. And go like this, we're gonna take this out and then we'll come down low. So this has a anti-rattle device built in. A lot of them on our sites have that, but it works really, really well. You can see there's not really much shake at all. The car's shaking, but the rack isn't. But notice how when I start to loosen this up, there's just a lot of movement. So that's what the anti-rattle is going to do. And it's very simple. You don't need anything but the tool that's in there. So I like it a lot better than a threaded bolt because you need to have a ratchet and the right socket. That's just kind of annoying and you can't really store it on most bike racks. So that's really cool. And I do like the fact that this is metal. It has a little coating on it, has a plenty big lever. So it's very, very strong. I don't think this is gonna break like ever. So that's something to kind of think about. Um, all in all, when it sits in your garage, might as well go over this. It is pretty big. And we do actually have a hitch pin that goes through there with a locking core. 
it's going to be kind of hard to see on this Tesla because it is very, very tucked back there. So let me see if I can get this undone. That is something to kind of think about with the Tesla. I mean, all the bike racks that you're going to want to get are going to have locking cores like this. And if they don't, you definitely want to buy one. This one comes with it, but it is kind of hard to get in there with all this extra stuff going on. But that's not a huge deal. It gives me peace of mind that no one's really going to take it. So that's kind of cool. But the lock is very, very nice to have. You don't have to buy it separate. I would definitely hope that it's going to come with the lock since it's such a premium rack. But look at this thing. It's like Fort Knox. It's huge. It's aluminum on the outside. It's pretty easy to put in. And it has a little flap too, which is better than just a rubber flap. The rubber flaps sometimes are just hard to get on there and sometimes they don't want to stay on there after a while. This door is an upgrade for sure. But whenever it sits in your garage, if you have it in your garage, which I suggest just keeping it on your car because it looks good, but it sits up on its own. So a lot of these bike racks aren't gonna sit up on its own. I don't think it's gonna take up a whole lot of space in your garage. So that's something to kind of think about. My garage is packed all the time. So you can pretty much just put this thing in your garage and it's going to fit and not take up a whole lot of room. So if you put it up right against the wall, it's just gonna stick out about 18 inches, which isn't a whole lot. And then whenever you're done, you can pick it up. Put it in your hitch. It's not that heavy. There's definitely heavier ones on our site, but I don't mind the weight because it's just more rigid whenever we put it in there. And then within a couple minutes, maybe about a minute or two, you can have this thing fully locked down. All in all, if you're driving a Tesla, you know, you got style. So might as well grab this too and really compliment your car. I think the main thing here is if you have a bunch of people at the trail and you just like to swap stories or just talk about stuff related to your hobbies. I definitely think the co-op piston is gonna be a very good conversation piece. It's kind of that one thing, it's, you know, if you have Kashima coated forks on the front of your bike, people love that. I just think it looks cool, but then you can have it match your bike rack. So all in all, if you're looking for the most premium bike rack of all premium bike racks, to date, I would definitely say the Piston Pro X is gonna be the rack that you're looking for. And that's pretty much it for a look at the Kuat Piston Pro X on our 2022 Tesla Model Y.